Hello, welcome to the Now Man Show. I am Now Man, the superhero of the present moment. Hello, this is Nice Wander, and I'm in front of the Dearly Departed Tours in Hollywood on Sunset Boulevard, and we're going to talk to the founder, Scott Michaels, right now. I am here in Hollywood at the Dearly Departed Tours with founder Scott Michaels. How are you, Scott? Thank you for being on the Now Man Show. Thanks for asking. Oh, this is fantastic. Now, you have been doing these really odd tours of all sorts around the Hollywood area since the 1990s. Is that correct? That's right. I came here in 94 to take over uh, uh, the old Graveline tour where you host the old Cadillac Hershes. And uh, yeah, that's why I moved to L.A. And so you've been doing Dearly Departed tours now since uh, 2005? That's right. We started. I started this company. Our first tour was January 1st, 2005. Yes, yeah, so we made it 10 years. God. Scott, what made you want to get in this kind of business? I've been fascinated with this sort of dark side of Hollywood since I was a kid. I've always been sort of exposed to death. I, I've seen it from a really young age, not in a dramatic way, but I've, I've, I've seen dead people. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, it just never really bothered me that much. In fact, it fascinated me. So uh, when I heard about the Graveline tour and I thought, well, that's fantastic. That's, that's what I want to do because to me, these are historic things. And I've assembled what I think people should see. I say I, anything I do, any tour I offer, anything I sell in my shop, anything I show in my shop are things that interest me, things that I would buy, things that I would do. So it's, it's sort of, that's how I judge it. It's probably a very selfish way to do it, but, but it makes me believe in what I, what I offer. Uh, fantastic. But what, there's different types of tours that you do do, though. Uh, let's run those down. Can you run those down for me real quick? Well, our, our standard Dearly Departed tour, which is what we've, we're, we're pretty well known for, and that's a, a lighthearted look at the dark side of Hollywood. So it's about three hours, about 70 different locations where uh, mostly terrible things happen. But since it is the history tour, we go into a bit of the history of Hollywood, and we stop at the cemetery to say hello to Marilyn Monroe and Dean Martin. Um, the Helter Skelter tour I started about seven or eight years ago devoted strictly to the Tate LaBianca murders, more famously known as the Manson murders, and that goes out on Saturday mornings. And it's a retracing the killers, uh, last, you know, their steps after the murders where they hosed off in the driveway and uh, where they threw the clothes off the cliff, as well as where uh, the victims used to live and work and hang out. So it's a, a pretty, I think, balanced story for considering it so so horrific. Uh, we offer a movie locations tour and we offer uh, we offer lots of things. We have a, a tour that we do with a couple of uh, celebrities. Al, uh, Allison Arngrim from Little House on the Prairie hosts a tour. Uh, Bridget Marquard from The Girls Next Door hosts a tour with us. So it's just a mishmash of all sorts of things. So there's something for everyone that likes a historical tour of Hollywood that's a little offbeat. <laughs> well yeah again it's you know Hollywood is uh, is an odd place and and we're not we're not very reverential, you know. <laughs> Although it is history and we respect the people, we will go for a cheap joke too. And I think that that's why locals like us as well, because we're not, you know, ooing and aahing over uh, somebody's hedges. But uh, this is the real deal. These are the street corners, the restaurants where they had the last suppers, where these things that we've all read about and heard about for decades, uh, where they actually happen. So it's, 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 a, the, it's history, but it's not like, you know, Civil War history. It's the fun kind. Exactly, and, and a lot of people like history. So let's, uh, Scott, let's take a look at uh, some of the memorabilia that you have around the, uh, the gallery here. How long has this gallery been open? Uh, we opened here about three and a half, almost four years ago now on Sunset Boulevard. And, but all these items in the shop are things I've been collecting over the years, mostly having to do with awful events. <laughs> Although there are some nice things in here that have been uh, loaned to us, uh, you know, Marilyn Monroe's cake pan and, and uh, <laughs> telephone bill and my little friend Sadie's uh, costume from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, but also we have, you know, a piece of Sharon Tate's fireplace and a tile from the pool that Brian Jones of the Rolling Stones drowned in. So oh, let's, let's take a look at that stuff. Right, yeah. All right, let's, let's go. <laughs> and, and what, this is a rock from uh, the, uh, the 
uh, Sharon Tate uh, Polanski place? That's right, yeah. They destroyed the house in 1993. And uh, I went up there and, and uh, I call it liberated a large portion of the <laughs> oh, fireplace. Really? Wow. And, uh, and it's here because it's history. Again, I don't have millions of dollars to save a house or a restaurant or a hotel that's been torn down. But I can you know, hop a fence and grab a brick from it. And that, that way everyone can see it. it. It may be to some people it's just a lot of junk. But to me, it's more important than that. It's a piece of history. That's fantastic. What else do we have here? Well, there, there are other things like funeral flowers. This is a, me a restaurant menu from Metzaluna where Nicole Simpson had her last supper. Oh, wow. Um, this photograph of Rock Hudson standing by the bed that he died in. This, he died in 1985 in this bed. Now, this bedpost that you see right there is this bedpost. Oh, right wow. Now. Wow. And um, it's all sorts of things. The, uh, a piece of John Denver's airplane that disintegrated when it hit the ocean. Wow. A tile from the pool that Brian Jones drowned in, who founded the Rolling Stones in 1969. He drowned in the pool in England, and that's a piece of it. These items were wow. donated to me. These were in uh, Jean Harlow's dressing room, which she died in 1936. Wow. And one of my favorite pieces is the pink suitcase. Ah, the pink suitcase, <laughs> which is... Jane Mansfield. She packed oh. this the night she was killed. This was in the accident that killed her in 1967. Oh, so this was in the car. This was in the car. And there's in this little heart-shaped box, you can see, uh, that's some of the glass from the windshield. That is all that's left of the uh, heart-shaped swimming pool. There's some pink bricks from the house when they tore it down. And right below that is a lock of Manson's hair that somebody sent me recently. <laughs> wow, that's bizarre. It runs all over the place in here. But uh, yeah, upstairs, downstairs, I have Karen Carpenter's bathroom sink, a piece of the Hindenburg. Oh, uh, you're a piece of the Hindenburg? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carol Lombard's plane crash. It's all over the place in here. So uh, there's all sorts of weird things banging around here at nighttime. And this is an outfit from this is an outfit here from uh, a friend of yours who was in the cast of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. That's right. Yeah, Sadie Corey. Uh, she was four foot two. Uh, <laughs> she was the she was the smallest of the Transylvanians at the, the time warp. And she and I became very good friends. I lived in England for several years, and I wrote, uh, co-wrote this book about Rocky, and I became friends with a lot of people that made the movie. And Sadie was my best friend. And you know, uh, actually, uh, of course, we sh we're going to be showing this at a different time, but actually on this day, uh, I think it's NBC is airing a reunion of the original cast of Rocky Horror yeah, this I morning. Yeah, I found that this morning. And all those people were terrific to me. Every one of them gave me a, an interview for my book. And uh, just a nice, nice group of people. I, uh, I, it was an honor. I spent most of my uh, childhood with these people or my teens. So it's a real honor to give them, give them tribute when I did that. And it's been now, uh, what, uh, 50 years now, I believe. 40 for the film, and the, the, uh, the show came out 42 years ago. So, wow, wow. So we're coming up on a 50. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much, Scott. Uh, this is Nice Wander and the Now Man Show with Scott Michaels from Dearly Departed Tours, and you're watching the Now Man Show. Now, you do uh, tours all year long, like... Uh, the g g ghost tour that we offer yeah we, we we started that about a year ago and it runs all year round on saturday nights and uh it's a it's a walking tour of hollywood but instead of one of those paranormal tours where you're getting meters and things like that it's hosted by the undertaker with a big top hat and a victorian veil cool. and a candlelight candelabra walking through the streets of hollywood and uh and it's really fun it's more of a ghost and mr chicken sort of experience or, or the haunted mansion sort of a thing it's just good fun They're real ghost stories and uh and, and i wouldn't hire you know somebody that that would make it annoying he's just good fun <laughs> that sounds great and uh wh what do you have to say marilyn oh <laughs> it's Min marilyn <laughs> scarilyn monroe <laughs> <laughs> all right don't you just love it <laughs> Hello, this is Now Man, and I am at the location of at least 100 films and TV show episodes over a 100-year period in the Hollywood Hills. This is actually called the Bronson Cave, named after a street that's not too far away. And uh, it's actually the namesake of a famous actor who, when he came to Hollywood as a young man, he saw the street and he said, hey, Bronson. That's going to be my show business name. Anyway, that's another side story. But this is the Bronson Cave. It, uh, in the early part of the 20th century, it actually was a quarry. 
and it was all dynamited out and all of that and a lot of the the stone here was used to build foundations in the in the uh, Hollywood homes that are literally just probably within miles of this area where we are right now but in 1919 the film industry decided they wanted to start shooting films here and they have so far up through uh, the 2010s so pretty remarkable uh, it's most known as the Batcave because this is the original location where the Batmobile drove out of at the in the beginning scenes of the Batman TV series with Adam West and Burt Ward in the 1960s. But there's so much more here. I mean, all the Star Trek uh, television series were, were shot here in, at one time or another from the original series up through Enterprise. Even the one of the Star Trek movies, original movies, uh, called The Undiscovered Country. I mean, I could go on and on and on and on. But it's an interesting story here. Uh, that still continues on, and it's in a location that is only really maybe a couple miles away from a lot of people, tourists and all that on Hollywood Boulevard and Highland and Vine, and, and it's just amazing that it's so quiet, and we're so close to a big city, and we're technically in a big city. So if you're ever in Hollywood, uh, this is a, a must-see if you're into film locations and just something cool and you can even hike up to the Hollywood sign from here. This this hike here actually is only about a quarter of a mile. So uh, it's at the very furthest southwest side of Griffith Park. So you can Google that, you can do all that kind of stuff and uh, it's a great time for all. And, uh, and speaking of the Hollywood sign, there's a great view of it from this location as well. It's so beautiful here to look directly at the mountainside and technically these are part of the Santa Monica Mountains and you'll see all sorts of nature here at various times. I've seen deer actually walking through here and a coyote and there's lots of birds and all sorts of interesting types of wildlife that we share this space with. Now this is called the Bat Cave but you're not going to find any living bats here. <laughs> I'm actually on the southwest side of Griffith Park, which is a huge park here in Los Angeles, right in the middle of a bustling city. It includes the Griffith Park Observatory, the Greek Theater, the Los Angeles Zoo. And they have interesting events all year long in the what's called uh, the Old Zoo. It's an abandoned area where the zoo used to be. And at Halloween time, they have what's called the Haunted Hayride. And you can do that and see all sorts of ghouls and goblins and witches and who knows, ghosts. <laughs> who knows what else? Uh, it's quite a lot of fun. One of, the, one of the most interesting things and fun things to do in uh, Los Angeles at this time of the year. So this is Nowman, and I am speaking to you, obviously, from Hollywood.